John with HCI Communications, and I'm here to tell you how to properly charge your radio battery. The charging system consists of two pieces, the charging base and the AC transformer. We want to make sure that we have this plugged in and seated properly into the back and plugged in to the wall. You will see here that there is a little lens here for an LED indication. And this light here tells you the status of the battery. The indication of the lights is located on the back and will tell you what the meaning of the LED indication light is with the battery status. There are two ways to charge the battery. When the battery is attached to a radio and when the radio is not attached to the battery. We can charge the battery by itself. We just want to make sure that the grooves of the battery fit in with the fins in the charger. We want to make sure that it's seated all the way down. Also, we want to make sure that this belt clip is not impeding it being seated all the way down. Sometimes there might be the wrong size belt clip and it prevents the radio from being all the way in the charger. The indication light here is green. This means that the battery is fully charged. This indication light is amber. This means that the battery is being reconditioned. Essentially, all the energy is being drained out of the battery and it will be recharged. Reconditioning of the battery generally takes longer to fully charge the battery. A regular charge can take up to 90 minutes. Sometimes you might see a flashing red and green light. This means that the battery is not good anymore and has reached its service life. You also may see just a flashing red light. This means that the battery is also bad and has reached its service life. So please make sure that when you're charging your radio that it is turned off. That will ensure that it reaches full capacitance and charges faster. Thank you for your time and have a great day.